I'm Shada. And I'm Nick. When we met, we knew we had to share our love for thrifting. We hunt for treasures all around California Bay Area. The stranger the location, the better the finds. We hope to inspire you to go out and find your own treasures. Come join us as we find the obscure, the cute, the useful, the weird, and sometimes a hidden treasure. From thrift stores to garage sales to secret hidden stashes, come see what we uncover on this episode of Thrift Cats. <laughs> Nothing. It's a nothing. It's a empty. Wait. Ooh. This is weird. What? This is from 1969. It was made in Germany. I picked that up. It's not. Made in 69, it's... Is it really? Oh. Oh. Skunks. Oh, no kidding. Skunky Christmas plate. Christmas skunks? Wait, what? What is even happening? Um... Anyone? Anyone? Like a tie? Anyone? Can we do cassette decks? Good cassette decks aren't being made anymore, so yeah. these are getting a little more worthwhile to have. I test it out. Can I do this inside? That is very unlucky. Um, this is the best umbrella ever. Hi guys. Hello. We did our regular haunts this time around. Salvation Army Goodwill, the classics. But we got some great stuff. A lot of 70s? Yes. Some groovy. Yeah, we hit 70s the 70s. Stuff. So delightful. So let's, uh, we got it all in big mishmash here, so we'll just kind of climb through it all and, and go through it as we see it. Yeah. Let me start out with um, the classic 70s Tommy wind-up bunny. Um, anyone about my age remembers the racks of little Tommy toys that would fit in your pocket. We played with this kind of thing on the playground a lot. They had all kinds of animals, kangaroo, ladybug, things like that. Um, we got the little white bunny with the pink googly eyes. Yeah, I have a thing for little white bunnies with the red eyes. They're really creepy but cute. Yeah, he's cute. So yeah. you'll uh, join our little family of vintage toys. Yes. Um, what do we got? We Kay. got the moon plate. Yeah. So, oh, oh, good. Um, <laughs> I don't know how well that's going to come up because it's black writing on the dark blue, but it says July 20th, history, 1969. And so it's obviously a commemorative moon landing plate. Um, you can see it's got a hanger on the back and some information. 
Um, first edition collector's store, uh, historic series plate serial number 1492. Uh, first in a series of historical events, First Men on the Moon, July 20th, 1969, exclusively made for Seven Seas Traders, Minneapolis, 1969, made in West Germany. So, cool. When, I'm, you know, I'm in the moon and space stuff, and uh, something from 1969 is pretty cool to have. The little heart attack this gave me is when we first uh, did some research online to see what value this had, and the very first auction that came up was for... Uh, $1,300 for this plate. Uh, but yeah, you know, it always pays to take a second and look through the other listings because it, it's about, you know, depending if you have the box and everything, 20, 25, maybe 40 if it's really nice. But 1300 in no one's world is this plate. So um, yeah, uh, pretty exciting for a second, but still a cool plate. Yeah, and we paid $1.99 yes. for it at Goodwill. Uh, it's just so us, I... Space. I actually like 60. walked by it and picked it up and I put it back down because I just thought it was some just kitschy like repro mm -hmm. thing to hang on the wall and um, and then Nick grabbed it and was like hey this is actually That's authentic yeah authentic um, and it's West Germany when there was, was a West Germany, a West Germany <laughs> so that's pretty cool well, next, um, should I go into my tape deck? Yeah, yes. Um, so, dual well tape deck. This is the Kenwood CT203. Um, now, I have a small recording studio, and you know I love cassette tapes, and I always buy some weird ones, which I've got some more to show you soon. Um, but uh, I already have a double cassette deck, and there's certain features I look for. And if you know anything about cassettes, if you're into it, cassette players, you know that there's really only one company still making these mechanisms for cassette decks, and they are pretty much garbage. So if you want a good cassette deck, you got to hunt down a used one. And so I've had my eye out for one to replace mine when it eventually is going to give up the ghost because I've had that for decades. So this one was perfect. had all the features I wanted. Um, work, I, I bought it, what was it, 10, 15, 15 bucks. Uh, I didn't even test it. I'm like, oh, for 15 bucks, I'll see if I can make it work. And indeed, it needed a little TLC. I had to do some disassembly and some get in there and clean it. But now it works like a charm. Uh, the other cool thing is it's had some uh, hazing and scratches on the lens here, but I just got some new product I was going to try out that takes away minor scratches in plastic. Worked great. This thing looks so good now, except for a couple big gouges on the top, which you really won't see. I got it cleaned up really good, so I'm pretty excited about that. This is ready to take over when my other one kicks the bucket. Yeah, and he really got it because he wants to make love mixtapes for me. I Did hadn't realized that. Yes, yes, that's absolutely yeah. true. Isn't it? I had no idea how true that was. Yeah. <laughs> what else we got? Okay. Tiger. Oh, uh, lion. Lion. Oh my gosh. This, I need to get my cats right. This, this, is, this is a lion. Forbid. Now this is, uh, we're guessing this is a <laughs> reprint. Uh, um, done by, it says M. Bryce, and we found out this is Marjorie Bryce, who did uh, a lot of big cat uh paintings, also stuff for Ducks Unlimited, did a lot of greeting card art. Um, and her paintings, uh, like say the original painting of this would be like $80 on up. This being a reprint that would have been distributed by Better Homes and Gardens in the 70s, which this clearly is one of those. What did we I'll say? Show the back. What did we say these go for? The reprints, like 20 bucks? Um, yeah, about $20. So yeah, it's originally yeah. a little worse for wear, but that's an original mount, and not reframed. And the lion has cute little leopard print spots on them. Yeah, he's got a lot of texture yeah. to him. That's, yeah. a, that's really great line art. <laughs> so super uh, 70s groovy yeah. lion. For all the cat fans out there, that one's good. All right, what next? Um, what you got? Let's see. Oh my gosh, so many things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. We'll start off with a um, little cute uh, it's a pewter. pewter vase uh, from Norway. It has a stamp on the inside. Um, I'll look and see and we'll, we'll post um, if if we can find it. Uh, got this for $3.99. Really cute addition yeah. to anybody that loves pewter. Mm. This little Art Deco jewelry little box. steel box. It's real cute. 
Love it. No Maker's Mark, but um, Art Deco mm -hmm. has always got me. We found the cute little crow. Yeah, in the Halloween stuff, yeah. you know, you got to get the little bird yeah, crow he's, decoration. He's so cute. Um, little... <laughs> Little felt? Yeah. No, it's Is actually, it? um, it's wool. Oh, So of it's a little wool pouch with a, a sheep, sheep on, on it. it. And it's from Cupcakes and Cartwheels. And, you know, he goes for about seven ninety nine, but but... That's yeah, super cute. It's just cute for any little collection, any boho collection. Mm -hmm. collection. Skunky Christmas? <laughs> okay. Skunks. <laughs> I'm, let's talk about skunks. Let's talk about skunks. I'm obsessed with skunks. Any time I find anything with a skunk on it, it's mine. Um, and Christmas. It's, yeah, all kinds of wonderful. Um, it's marked uh, Joan, 1982. We looked it up. Can't really find anything yeah, might about be a her. Homemade thing. Yeah, I feel like it's homemade. Uh, there's only three of them. I was really sad that there weren't more, but you know, I'm gonna kind of do some more searching and see if I can we need find more anything. Christmas skunk. More. Yeah, I was happy just to see the three. Uh, brass. brass deer. He's great. Yeah, so great. Great for any cute little doorway or bookshelf. Smacking any intruders on the head. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Murder weapon. <laughs> um, oh. The boho bag. Boho bag. Look at that. Cute Groovy. Little boho bag. Um, it's actually a BCBG bag. And uh, love the colors and the leather details and the little like fake tooth to hold <laughs> hold it secure that's great yeah so cute groove and, and you got your other little bag yeah and then a couple other little bags Let's see i will get them all here so it's really nice all hand beaded and glass um, beads glass beads i don't know if it's old enough to be carnival beads or if it's just glass beads. Yeah, it's hard to tell the age on this one. Yeah, it might really be newer, hard. Yeah. but it's wonderfully made. And it's it's really nice, like the Material. handles yeah. on it are just, yeah, like lovely and, and gushy. <laughs> it's like not stiff. <laughs> uh, awesome beaded clutch. beaded clutch. This is definitely uh, 30s yeah, to 50s deep. somewhere yeah. um the inside of it needs like a little bit of repairing mm -hmm. um but oh my gosh where we get eight dollars for this guy it's a nice one and then a little gold limey clutch Cute. um for yeah fancy times fancy times <laughs> holiday parties maybe when we can have holiday parties again yeah. or just for a night out, when uh, we can have a night out. Clamor clutch. Or, you know, you could just get fancy and dress up <laughs> just because you want to. Not that to. we've done that. Well, no, but we should. Well, we kind of have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody should get dressed up right now and have, like, a fancy. Get dressed up and make a YouTube Fancy video. night. <laughs> At least once a month. Okay. Yeah. I think that's that's all. Did we get everything? Oh, we got the two big things left. Oh, oh my gosh. So my, my, my big no, thing. forget the last thing. The last thing. thing. <laughs> One last thing. Um, my last thing was a little bit too big to bring up in the house. Uh, and it, I got it for like $35. It was a steal. And I took some video of it outside because it's already in use. Put it right to use. And I will pop that in right here. Work table. Vintage work table. Work uh like sawhorse clamp work table. Magnificent, just what I needed. Got it for a steal and uh, found out there's all kinds of fans of this. It's a Black & Decker. Black & Decker, that's right. Yeah. Um, you'll see the video, it's awesome. I couldn't be happier with the darn thing. It's already in the yard getting 1975. Nice. 1975, originally designed in 1972. The story yeah. is kind of interesting how this guy designed this whole collapsible table that was just sturdy and functional. And uh, he had 
years marketing it around till 75 where black and decker was playing like you know what that's a great table we're going to make it so from 75 on they still make them under the same name they're plastic now <laughs> mm, but mine's not it looks great yeah um, it's so very we'll manly we will show that yeah. so that's my big <laughs> item and your last yes. big item dun 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 this thing don freeman wall hanging um <sighs> so 70s so 70s there goodwill was, yeah Steel. it was hanging like i always look for cool like uh textured throw uh blankets and stuff to do you know like all kinds of decorating and camera stuff and so it was hanging in that section on a hanger and i saw it and i walked up and i was like oh my god is that is that what i think it is and i turn it around and it has like the original tag it's got all on the it documentation on the back and the style number and everything Artists. and then in whoops in this corner it signed Don Freeman this is quite a collector's piece we find out. Yeah, and so they range, you know, range anywhere between, you know, like $79 to like $14.99. Yeah, thousands yeah, of dollars Yeah, for I've these seen things. them range, you know, for the various sub- different amounts of money. The only one I was able to find similar to it was one with boats on it that was going for $4.99. Or $4.99. Uh, I paid $19.99 yeah, for this it. Yeah, was a steal. And uh, one of the employees at Goodwill came over and, and he was like, oh my God, like, look at how cool that is. <laughs> and, you know, I don't know if he realized at that moment when I was looking it up that it was worth money, but um, but he was the sweetest, uh, the sweetest guy. So, yes. um, yeah, we're, yes. we're going to auction the Don Freeman off. Mm-hmm. This is our piece for yeah, the auction. Yeah, this is our piece for the auction. And um, we're going to do a little bit more research and see which one, like how much this one is worth. If anybody knows, please leave it in our comments below. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, we hope to raise some money. I think with, this is one of yeah. our nicest collector pieces we've stumbled across. So this is the one we're gonna let go and turn yeah. and into some money for charity yeah somebody is gonna be able to hang out on their wall and um, love the boho grooviness yes boho crochet loveliness <laughs> of it with their collection of plants COVID plants <laughs> yes <laughs> um, that's, so that's it that's yeah. it that's a wrap up um, thank you everybody Thanks, for, watching. for watching and um, please like and subscribe, hit the bell, leave your comments below, share with your friends, and we hope you're all doing well and staying safe and um, keeping positive Mm -hmm. and happy. So until next time. Stay groovy. Ciao. Bye. And there she is, the Black & Decker workmate collapsible workbench sawhorse clamp steel alloy wood already getting use already put it to work nineteen seventy two Hickman designs he finally convinced Black and Decker to use his design to make this legendary table has lots of fans I have found online whole fan page for this darn thing I can see why, it's great. See the really cool clamping rotators there. It is awesome and it was a steal. Of course the new ones they make are uh, plastic. Testy, testy. Okay, so that way, right? Testy, testy, Look at that. Testy, we are testing. Testy, testy.